Hey guys, what's up? This is Colin here again, and today I'm finally going to make this video on how to set up your own fogger or humidifier for your more tropical animals. This method I found out works great, so another YouTuber gave me this idea. It saves a lot of money. If you're needing something that like, uh, makes a fog, you don't want to spend too much money. You want it to work good and last for a long time to ease. This is the way to go. Uh, I'm sure that's pretty much everyone, so good. It's the same thing as if you've ever seen like Zoomatter Exoterra's foggers, like they will put out a bunch of this fog. This is what I'm going to show you how to make. And it's real easy, it doesn't cost very much, but this is how you're going to make it. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need a humidifier, obviously. It's going to be the same thing as Zoom Ed, it's just on a larger scale. That's good because you don't have to change it more than like every two weeks or something, but it does take up more space. You can compromise easy with less space. Okay, so um, this is the humidifier you're going to want. Can I get that on the camera? This is what it looks like. Be very specific on the humidifier you want, because I wish I could show you, but most humidifiers, you know, have like, um, just come out in like a big area where it's all going to come out. But you need a humidifier that's all going to come out in like one certain hole, because that's very important. I went out and looked for you guys, and Walgreens has one that's absolutely perfect for the job, and it does great. It's called uh, Walgreens uh, Coolness Humidifier Ultrasonic. It's great. So, you get, um, by the way, if you see all the stuff in the background, that is all you need to make this. Now we'll go into more depth. So this is what it looks like. Okay? And this tank comes off here. Okay. So this is what we're gonna be working on. See this little hole right here? Just take that thing out. See that hole right there is what you're going for. Because all of the mist is coming out of that hole. So how are you going to funnel that into your tank is what you're going to do is you can get these from Home, Home Depot or like any hardware store. This little thing here, uh, this makes it pretty easy. So you're going to take the small end, put it in there. So now that you have that in there, you're going to take some like caulking or sealant. This is a step you don't really have to do, but it's going to save you from like minimizing your leaks. So take it. So you're gonna let your sealant dry overnight, or if you're in a hurry, at least give it a few hours. All right, so when you put it on, just smear it around, like make it airtight, that sealant, its only job is to make it airtight, so to maximize in the tank and minimize going out of the tank. So that's just that to keep it funneling it in through there. There's a problem with this, when it's, when it, even when it's dried, it's still, it's not very strong. You see I wiggle it and it's not, I'm not even using that much pressure. And when you buy your hose, you can buy it from Home Depot. You can also buy this from Home Depot. And you can buy this from Walgreens for I think like $40. But it's worth it because like Zoomed's Bogger, I think I think they're like $40 or $30. But they're real tiny. You have to refill them every day. And I hear they break in like two months. So much better to just make one of these, spend like $10 more, maybe have it work for a lifetime. Because humidifiers are usually pretty good. Especially if you buy one like this, lasts forever. When you uh, when you buy it, it's gonna be in a big bundle like this, and it's it'll want to stay in that shape, and it tugs pretty hard. Like this is what's going in there. Like, you're gonna put that in there, and it's gonna pull pretty hard, and it's probably it's just gonna rip this out. So you need something that's strong, so that can hold it. Great stuff, foam here. So you're gonna apply that around. So what you're gonna do is you have your foam and put put this connector on it, and then you're going to just simply. Apply a nice layer around. Usually comes out quite a bit faster than this. I don't know what's wrong. But yeah, just do that until you're satisfied. And I will show you what it should look like when I finish. There's nothing like it will. But I'm going to let you go and show you when it's dry. Okay, this is what it's going to look like when it's dry. Put like an extra layer of sealant over it so it like kind of just seals the deal you know and it makes that that ugly kind of yellow creamy color go away so it'll be white okay we got that dried and it came out pretty good you see there just covered in white so it's not that ugly color and it's an extra layer of sealant so it uh won't none of it will be getting out for sure we're gonna uh get this going 
So I'm just gonna plug it in. It's going under this new vivarium here that I will show you how to build. Um, I showed every step how to build this. Open it up for you. It's pretty awesome. Got some logs, some live plants, and like court rocks in the bottom. Okay, so okay. I'll put this down here. And you are going to want, you're gonna want to use like a uh, wire clip, clip your hose to the right, down to the right sides. So you're gonna push it into this spot where you want it. And now it looks like I can take off quite a bit. So um, make sure you always just go a little at a time because you can always take off more, but you can't ever add any. Okay, and then that's gonna go down in there. What I usually do, um, I'm gonna go around the sides and like peel off a little bit so it like goes it goes in better so it slides in really easy and you want a real snug fit so none's it's escaping usually these hoses are a little big and this way it just slides easier cut it off at an angle so it's a little skinnier right where you're putting it in and you see how it tries to bend up because that's the way it was in the store okay so you put that down in there hopefully it goes in pretty easy for you just turn it on, and I usually have that set on a timer. You see it fill, and then there you go. Just gonna start pumping that in there, and then so you can set your timer to go off a few times a day for a few minutes, or you know, really however much you want it. And you can like, you can just put this in the tank, but this animal that's going in here is like an escape artist, so I have to somehow make it go in without opening the cage. So you know, I just like cut a little corner out of plexiglass and stuck that down there and it stays. So it works pretty well. Yeah. Works great. So you gotta let that run for a while. And that is, that is uh, very effective, as you can see. Thanks for watching.